Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas and today I will be showing you guys how to replace the RAM or upgrade the RAM on an Acer Aspire model 5742Z-4601 so let's begin first thing I want to do is go ahead and close the laptop and lay it on its uh, LCD panel there what I'm going to be doing to uh, com complete this tutorial is I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver it's a screw uh, star screwdriver there and the first thing you want to do before working on any computer is remove the battery and you've heard me say this tons of times on plenty of the tutorials but it, 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 I can never repeat myself enough just remember always to remove the battery first and make sure it's not plugged in common sense but I mean we could forget sometimes so just remember I'm gonna put this on release. Oh, sorry, I put it on lock. I'm gonna put it on release. Move this over to the side, and the battery should pop out just like so. Now, replacing or upgrading the RAM on this particular model Acer is uh, actually very simple. I mean, we're two screws away from getting to the RAM. That easy, guys. We have one back plate with two screws. We need to unscrew, then pop off, and we will reveal the RAM, hard drive, system battery, and wireless adapter card. So I'm going to unscrew both screws first. Take the screws out. We'll put those aside here. I don't lose them. And this, I will say, is a little more difficult to pop out. It's not too difficult, but uh, you probably will require the use just of a screwdriver just to get underneath it, give you some leverage to pop it out just a little bit. Once you hear that first pop, run your fingers slowly. You don't want to crack anything. And it should pop out. Not too difficult. Again, where's our RAM? We have our hard drive, our wireless card, our system battery, and here's our RAM. There's this protective little case, this protective little plastic over it, so we can just move that, bend it, behind for now. Uh, maybe that's not going to work. I'll try just to work with that in my way. Um, to remove the RAM, what you want to do is pull these two notches right here out. And you're going to pull them outwards and you'll see the RAM pop right out once I do that. You should then just slide the RAM out like so and I'll put it aside right there for you and we should come to the other RAM now the other RAM stick and again pull these little notches out like so and the RAM should pop out very easy there it is now let's assume that we have new RAM we just took it out of the package we're ready to install it this is RAM going into slot I'm sorry, what, slot 2, RAM A, RAM B, whatever you want to call it. I, I'm not going to be technical. I'm just going to install the RAM. Here's RAM stick 1. I should fit the notches where they line up. And what I'm talking about here is that notch right there should line up here on the computer's board. And you'll feel it slide in. And you once you have it in place, you just need to press it down and you'll hear it snap right in. Now with the second RAM, you want to do the exact same thing. Match it up with the notch on the board. Push it in. Remember, we're not going to be too... Um, you don't have to be too rough with this. It, it, it'll go right in. Um, just be patient with it. So it fit right in and all I'm going to do is just press down on this. Listening out for that little pop and we know it's in place. We're done. Guys, that's simple. We've already replaced the RAM on this computer. You, If you had a 64-bit operating system, you should be able to support up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. So you can purchase an 8 gigabyte uh, upgrade kit at your ne nearest retailer or uh, online wholesaler. And you know that shouldn't run you more than $65, $70 tops. So if you wanted to get 8 gigabytes out of this computer and you had a 64-bit operating system, this is how easy it is. I would not... 
Uh, this is a very easy upgrade. I, I wouldn't pay someone to do this. I mean, we're two screws away from doing it ourselves, so not too difficult. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this plate back on. First thing you want to do is these little notches right here, you want to line them up on the actual computer itself. Then I want to line up the side notches while I fit those in as well. Now this is, I don't know why I had so much difficulty putting this on. It, it was the hardest part of the entire repair, I'm sorry, of the entire upgrade. But once it's in, it's in, it's not too hard. Okay, so you want to fit that in. Once it fits in, it should just snap in and you'll feel it securely in. It's in place. There's no more problems. There's no more bulge on it. It is in place. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back on it now. There's screw one. Don't have to go too tight. Don't want to be Hulk or anything. We're just going to fit it in place. And there's screw number two. And let's put our battery back in. Should fit in like so. Here it's snap. Let's put it back in the lock position. Unlock, lock, leave it unlocked. And if we wanted to test to see if we did a good job or if we did a correct job, we can just turn the computer on. It'll boot, it might beep and tell you that there's new RAM that's been added, but that's fine. The RAM's been changed, but that's okay. You can hit continue and you've done everything you can to get this computer upgraded and it's where you like it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Uh, in YouTube, that's youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. We're on Facebook, that's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. And we're also on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. This is Eric with IT conflict, computer repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.